Remember these fundamental aspects of a warm air versus cold air. Warm air is less dense and rises up over cold air. Warm air's ability to hold moisture is higher than cold air. Cold air is more dense and heavier. It sinks under warm air. Cold air's ability to hold moisture is less than warm air. These fundamental principles help you understand air masses, weather fronts, fog, a big chunk of meteorology. And they have to do with temperature and moisture content of the air. Let's define an air mass. An air mass is a large body of air with generally uniform temperature and humidity. Good. You see that temperature and humidity is right in the definition of air mass. Where do these air masses form? They form over a source region. And a source region is a large homogeneous area where the air mass can persist over some time to gather the properties of the surface under it. Think about it like this. Did that air mass form over the ocean in a tropical region, or did it form over a continent in a polar region? The outcomes of these situations are very different. If you form over a continent, you're going to have less moisture. And if you're in a polar region, you're going to be kind of cold. If you form over an ocean or a maritime environment, you're going to get more moisture. And if you're in the tropics, it's going to be hotter. So you'll have a continental polar versus a maritime tropical. And the temperature and humidity of these two air masses is going to be very different. Let's name these air masses. How do they name the air masses? Well, they're named based on their temperature and humidity. Again, this is a, this is a common thread. We're seeing this over and over. Temperature and humidity, it's a big deal. The temperature is either tropical, polar, or arctic. And for humidity, they say continental or maritime, meaning over the ocean. You put a combination of these together and you get the classification of the air mass. They write them like this. Continental is little c. Maritime is little m. And then the temperature, so this is the humidity. The temperature is represented by a large letter. Tropical is large T. Polar is large P. And Arctic is large A. So you get continental tropic or continental polar or continental Arctic. And you get maritime tropical or maritime polar. These are the main source regions of air masses. I think you probably get the point, but let's look at this again. Continental, dry air. Maritime, moist air. Tropical, warm air. Polar, colder air. Arctic, really cold air. So continental tropic, continental polar, continental arctic, maritime tropical, maritime polar. There's one more classification, equatorial, that nobody really talks about, but it's very warm, moist air right near the equator. If you only take a couple things away from this lecture, remember this. Warm air is less dense, rises up over cold air. Warm air can hold more moisture than cold air. Cold air is more dense, heavier, and sinks under warm air. Also, cold air can hold less moisture than warm air. Remember that, and you'll be doing just fine. These principles are going to come into play where two air masses meet and create a weather front. And that's our next section, so I'll see you there.